talk, got with Josh. I got with Josh because I really liked him and I really cared about him and I really wanted to be with him. I always was about him. I always was feminine as fuck. If you go to my old, old Instagram, you will see I always woo nail, old nails. I always squirt. But me personally, I know how to portray myself as a man because I'm a boy. And I'm really not into too deep of that feminine shit. So when it came to it, I can easily get with anybody and portray myself as a boy. Oh, Alvo, you just woke up some shit. You just cleared the airways. And that's all I think a lot of us been needing to hear is really, you know, a lot of what has went on, you know, with, with you guys. And that's just cleared the airways. So and it's like a lot of people don't never believe what I say because everybody go out clout, everybody go out views. If a bitch gets 600 views, he's telling the truth. If a bitch got 1,000 views, he's telling the truth. If a bitch got 15,000 um, followers, he's telling the truth. If a motherfucker got three followers, the person with three followers lying and they clout chasing. And it's just not like that. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all hit the goddamn can shout. Goddamn. Lord, I, you know what, Alvo? Keep doing what you're doing. I'm glad you're happy in your relationship. I be seeing y'all posting content and stuff. Oh, and, know, let me it, say, it, and let me say this, too. Let me say this, too. Mm -hmm. And when me and Josh was going through shit, we had what we got going on. Like, I'm going to be real. It's just like we never had no storyline type shit going on. Everything that I've ever been through with him was never no storyline. I'm going to be real with you. It's just like this. When you with somebody and then y'all going through shit, you feel me? Because I ain't going to lie. been times that we had to got down. Go through what we go through, like, from hotel to Airbnb. And you with somebody, y'all trying to come up. It's going to be problems. It's going to be drama because it's just like, no shit. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I be scared as fuck. Like, damn, what I'm going to do? Where I'm going to stay at? Where I'm going to sleep at? So when you constantly run about getting your life together and you go, and you really ain't got no, no support, you're going to have arguments. You're going to have drama going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just like me personally. I always went live, with, went to social media with it, and always been into social media because I felt like, damn, that's all I had. But, you know, that created everything that it created. But everything I, like, this shit was not no storyline. If I was with Joshua storyline or for stability, then I would have been like, yeah, I was with Joshua storyline on um, stability. And if, that, if it was for clout, I'd say it's for clout because everybody clout chase. You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing your thing, you do your show, you do your Kenny Lee show, you pop your shit, and you gain the clout, and you getting money, and you getting the bag. You know what I'm saying? So you're not afraid to say, you know what, I just added Alvo to my life because this is going to happen, and my cash out's going to, you know what I'm saying? And it's like everybody be forgetting it. Well, I think everybody be trying to get a damn bag at this point. But all this stuff they be doing, like they're fighting and stuff. I mean, I know it happens in relationships, but the stuff that they doing, that's just too much for me, you know. And I think Tommy don't know when to when to say enough is enough. I don't think Shamar knows when to say enough is just enough. I think that sometimes And to be honest, enough, enough, is, and to be honest it is, enough is enough because like it's real life shit going on. Like you feel me? Motherfuckers can lose their life. Motherfuckers can go through depression. Motherfuckers can really be having mental illness and shit going on in their head. So really I don't wish no bad to Tommy. Like I don't got no issue with Tommy. Like I know you're gonna go live and say let me clear this up. Why I was speaking on me. I'm not speaking to nobody. You just ask me a question, I answer my question. Like, that's all it is for me. And that's it. We're just having a conversation. We're just having a conversation. You know, it's not speaking down on nobody or trying to make nobody look bad. We're just having a, a conversation, y'all. You know, and please don't take this the wrong way, y'all, because people have the right to express themselves, you know. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I was talking all that shit about Shamar. Oh, Shamar, you homeless bitch. You this and you third. And it's like, when I start going through that shit Shamar was going through, it made me shut the fuck up. Like, as you can see, I ain't been live talking about no damn Shamar, talking about people because you read what you sow. So it's just like, I went through that. The same shit Shamar go through, I go through. So how can I get on live and call Shamar this and call Shamar that when I'm going through the same, when I'm going through the same thing? Like, you get what I'm saying? So I can't get on here and talk shit about people and bash people when I'm going through shit as well. Because that's like, podcast on Call the Kettle Black. Like, I can't do that. So I'm not going to be going going live and arguing with these bitches because I got more shit to worry about than going live and arguing. Like, in my mind right now, what I'm trying to worry about is where I'm going to be, where I'm going to be living at, where I'm going to be at, and where I'm going there. Arguing with Shamar ain't doing nothing for views. Like, what the views going to do for me? They ain't doing nothing but letting a whole bunch of motherfuckers know that, damn, I'll go down bad right now. I ain't got nowhere going on. Like, that's I don't know what's going on with your uh, internet. I don't know what's going on with your internet, Alvo. All right, y'all. 
Well, y'all, that's going to do it for the afternoon show, y'all, with me, Kimmy Lee. Avo, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, Avo. Look, y'all, tonight at 8.15, we're going to be back right here for another great edition of Let's Talk. I'll be taking your live phone calls, your questions, and all of your concerns. And also, don't forget, y'all, each and every Friday, you can win $25 in a free gas card on Let's Talk. That's each and every Friday. All you have to do is be calling number nine. And, hey, the phone lines will be wide open tonight, y'all. I'll be there between 8.15 and 8.30. Y'all come back. We're going to have more open discussions. It's not trying to make anybody look bad, y'all. We're just having a conversation. Today is Wednesday, y'all. It is Wild Out Wednesday with me, Kenny Lee. Want to thank God for all of my camp members, all of my board members. I thank God for you guys. And also to my analysts, or should I say, yeah, my analysts, and also to my advisor, my interim advisor, Auntie T, to thank God for you. Hey, look, y'all, this is strictly entertainment, y'all. If you want it told, if it has to be told, if it, I'll post the phone number tonight. We'll be here tonight. The phone number will be posted. Y'all hit the goddamn cash out. I'm Kenny Lee, and I'm the one to do it. Wait a minute. So I said I'm going to get you, too. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? What the fuck did I See y'all tonight. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> what y'all, the queen is coming for me too. What the fuck? Bye, <laughs> y'all.